So the 60 bed uh, uh, district hospital facility uh, that was started in 2015 by the contractor, the, the Egyptian contractor uh, Eurojet Invest, uh, well, has uh, not seen the completion which was scheduled for 2018 because of some issues regarding tax waivers and, and the life of which the contractor was expecting parliament to handle for them. Well, the contractors say despite the challenges, some 80% structural work has been completed. Medically, 90% of it has been done. However, they believe that if a lot more commitment is shown to this on the side of the project awardee, they think that by the first quarter of 2020, the project would come to an end and they would successfully hand over. Let me speak to the project, uh, President the resident engineer of the project. Sir, what's your name? And uh, you tell us exactly what you do. I'm uh, engineer Khalid Hamid. I'm the resident engineer for Eurojet DMVS. Mm -hmm. Here I'm in charge of the site for the construction. Uh, now we are f almost finishing the construction work and touching up for the handing over mm -hmm. for the medical team to start the furnishing the, the, the hospital. Mm. And now, tell me what caused the delay uh, from 2015 where you, you took on the project uh, of which you were supposed to have ended in 2018? What caused the delay? One of the major issues it was the tax exemptions. But uh, it takes time to, to solve it with the parliament and the ministry of health. But now it's solved it and now we're okay. We are getting the tax exemptions and now we are delivering most of the foreign materials. Mm. Like 85% uh, 80, of the materials, foreign materials is, is uh, delivered to Ghana already as on site. Most of it is on site. Mm. Uh, the next month we start the, the, the installation for all the medical furniture. Mm all the medical training okay. now you you underwent uh, some forensic audit when this new administration took over the minister of health the minister of uh, finance uh, did conduct a forensic audit into the project uh, what was the outcome of that uh, forensic audit before they came and tried to so solve some of the challenges on site for medica for the minister by Med minister of health and minister of finance they tried to support us and now they, we are managing to to most to solve most of the problems and we are managing to finish, to deliver the project by the planned program for mm. did the forensic audit uh, indict you in any way uh, it's not too much for the side team you know for the side team we are not involved for the managerial issues too much yes but, but you work for no. the company yeah. did what did the forensic audit done by the government indict you in any way no uh, for for us for us we don't have a problem with the with the side team as i told you mm -hmm. the pro of course maybe there is some things with the top high mm -hmm. management but we didn't hear about this one. It's, it was okay. N nothing of that nature was communicated no. to you from the top no. management. The reason why you continued the project, the first phase, uh, you're almost done with it. What is with regards to the second phase? The second phase is the, this one, the, the medical equipment. And we are planning by next year, uh, the early, early December, sorry, December 2019, we'll start the medical, uh, all the medical uh, training. Mm -hmm. And we will deliver it to Ghana Minister of Health by uh, March, as mm -hmm. per the planned program for. By March 2020, you should be handing over the project, the first phase of the project. Yes. Mm. And 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 uh, for you, you think as it stands now, you do not have any challenges again with regards to your financing. Has your cost increased in any way or the other? Of course, the more you are increasing the period for the. For the construction, the more uh, the more uh, cost is coming, but now we are trying to manage with our subcontractors to absorb this one. Mm. Okay, many thanks to uh, you, engineer Khalid. He is uh, the resident engineer for uh, the 60 bed uh, Tepa District Hospital facility. I mean, as you can see, even in the background, that's the central medical stores. Uh, and, and then other facilities. This is the mortuary. Okay, this is the mortuary, uh, and then other medical waste. Uh, this is the mortuary, and 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 this is what the central HVAC system for the hospital. All okay. the cent hospital is centralized HVAC system.
Okay. So this is the main chillers for the system. The chillers. Okay. All right. So so I mean, at any point in time, power supply or anything uh, will not will not in any way at all be affected. No, we have the power supply. We have the power on site already. Mm. We have the two transformers and uh, the AVR system. We have our own power station on site. Okay. So all now right. we, we can have a look on it. Okay. okay. All right. Many thanks to you, Engineer Khalid. So that. That's the situation, and he is uh, very emphatic on the fact that uh, by by uh, March 2020, the project will be handed over back to government for the people of Tepa to enjoy the health delivery they have been seeking for for the past years. The first quarter of 2020, they would have handed over. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Tepa.